He's my grandson, and I will whoop him. I may be 4'11", but I will beat him down. Well, I think she, and her I position is her. that she's taking a hard, she's taking a little, a harder line for discipline. Well, um, uh, no, she had, she was whooping him with a water hose, and I took it from her. That is not normal. Don Terrius, you have never gotten a stable job. Oh, my Lord. I, it's, it's okay. Okay. Well, Aunt Yana. Grandma, you know what I do. We, we talk. Yeah. Grandma, you just, I cannot, listen. I can barely solve the problem dealing with the generation I have. There's no way I'm going to be solving three levels of generation. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Cordia Amian said it best. There's a lot of dysfunction running here and I can't, I'm not even going to try to unravel those levels. Okay. He was pimping, pimping girls. Oh my God. You're on the object. If I knew that you was going to end up the way you are now, I would have let you sit at them 20 years for that uh, pimp. Wow. Just put your purse right there on the edge, right there. See that right here? No, over here, on this side over here. Right, right here, ma'am. Gladys. Right there in the chair. Right there. there you oh. go. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I can't drive in the dark. That's fine. Do you need your glasses? No, I mean, I have to read something. I, I don't think so, but if we do, we'll bring them to you. Okay. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear affirm the testimony you'll present to the court or be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so I hope you got it? I do. State your name and spell it for the court, please. Gladys Smith, G-L-A-D-Y-S-S-M-I-T-H. All right. Go ahead and ask any of the questions that you might have. Ms. Murphy, she's your witness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi, Gladys. Um, Gladys, how long have we been knowing each other? Uh, since Don Terry and Ashley met. Okay. And um, who are you two, Don Terry's? I'm, I'm uh, Don Terry's uh, grandmother and, and Amani Aaliyah and DJ great-grandmother. Okay. Um, how long have I had the children? Uh, ever since I went and got them from the father's house, uh, they were left alone and they hadn't had baths of food. So the, I don't know how many years it's been. I went and got them. Okay. Um, it's been 10 years, I guess. I think DJ was what? Um, I, don't, I don't know what his age was. But anyway, they called for me to come pick them up. And uh, I went and got them, and I brought them to your house. Um, it was defects called. Had to be called. Uh, I think you uh, you were trying to reach defects about two or three years ago in reference to child support, because I don't think the kids have ever gotten child support. I mean, I know they have never gotten child support because. Me and my two sons have been taking care of the kids since they've been born. And myself. And myself. And yourself. <laughs> um, what else? The three kids. Have you? Excuse me? I said the three kids. Did I say two? I mean three. Mm, yes. I, Gladys, have I um, always been in these children' life? Uh, ever since I got was well, Ashley and Don Terrace was trying to make it on their own, and they had so much uh, disruption with their lives because I had to go over there, and they were fighting, and I stopped the fight, and uh, he was had lit some paper and was putting it in Ashley's face. And um, shortly thereafter, I think that's when Ashley came back home. Was there um, any abuse 
when you was around them? Not in my presence per se, but well, the only presence I saw when they were, uh, he was fighting and he lit some paper and put it in her face and I, he's my grandson and I will whoop him. I may be 4'11", but I will beat him down for doing such a thing. So I made him stop and, uh, you know, um, Anytime I see uh, domestic abuse in any way, I will call, I will try to uh, stop it myself. If I can't stop it, I will call 911. How often do, before court, before court how often do Dontarius come around? I live uh, in Hiram, Georgia, and uh, the kids do not speak of him that often for us coming around uh, with the children, to my knowledge. They don't speak to me about it. Uh, I know we had difficulty in trying to get child support for him, and he and Ashley did. And uh, we had to go through some system. You and Ashley had to go through some system. But it has never uh, materialized because... The money is coming out of my pocket, Raphael, and and Puka's pocket. That's where the money comes from. And I take them shopping every year, and I send them money every month. When I get paid, I be cash apping the kids. It's all in the record where I've cashed up their money ever since they've been born. Mm. That's it, Gladys. I just want the judge to let you know, let her know. That is me and you, and since they've been, but Aaliyah was in the first grade. Okay. And uh, it's been you and I and Raphael and uh, Pookie. Because Who? They, they, my son, Gordia, the big guy. Okay. And uh, I want to make an official record that I am a licensed real estate agent broker. I'm an insurance agent. I was a mortgage banker, a loan officer, and I have a bachelor, I mean, a BA degree, a business administration, master's in uh, theology, business administration in English, and I'm very competent and stable. I sell houses every day, and I'm not crazy. Okay. But I'm still young. That's right. Absolutely. One more question. Thank you. Because I got to go. <laughs> Were you not helping me to look for a house? No, I'm a licensed real estate agent. No. And you don't have to even pay me a fee. I will give you the money back to help seed on trying to take care of the children. I won't take a fee from you. That's it. Um, so let gone. me let me ask you a, a couple of questions. Yes, um, so you said that it was a, a long time ago. You couldn't recall when you went to get the children, um, what made you go get the children? They called me and said they were hungry and they hadn't had a bath in two days. And I say, what's your address? Because I am the grandmother to this child here, Don Terrence Amos McCoy. And uh, I've helped him also when he got in trouble. So uh, when they called, they were little. When they first went over there, the first, I just don't remember what year it was, but they were little. And um, they were standing by the door alone. They should not have been left alone at that time. They were too young. And, and I rushed over there. I called Shanta. I rushed over there, and I got the children, and I took up the Shanta. They never went back. It's, it's been uh, DJ, and uh, they should have been like two or three, two or three years old. Um. So it's been six years. Have you seen any changes in Mr. Amon's um, parenting since uh, then? No, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen him uh, portray the father as far as being responsible child support wise in my entire life. Okay, so your position is he hasn't paid child support and that concerns you. Very much so, because he would have been locked up if he was my husband. Okay. Um, do you have um, 
you're you're familiar with the house that um, Mr. Ammons wishes to bring the children to. I think I, I'm not sure. Would that be oh, that's your the house? My ex. Your ex. Okay. Yeah, and I took care of him too. Okay, so your ex husband's house. That's the one that Mr. Um, Ammons want. Ammons McCoy wants to take the children to live in. What are your thoughts about him being you able first to have to be a father first? And and during the whole time the kid's been born, I have not seen any display of fatherhood. Okay. Um, there were allegations, um, at least at some point, of drug abuse. Or um, do you have or believe that there are any concerns that the court should have about well those uh, allegations? I love my grandson, and he was. He had gotten in trouble by doing something illegal. I posted a James Bond bond for him, $50,000, to keep him out of jail. Then they sent him to boot camp. And he went to boot camp. And uh, I thought he had learned from that experience, but evidently not. Now, why you say evidently not? Because he still hadn't paid his child support. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. You have to take care of your children. Children don't ask to be born. You bring them here. Okay. So if Mr. So if you found that he was paying child support, would that change your opinion? No, he, I have to make sure he's not using drugs. And I personally, I think he needs to be analyzed, watched for a certain length of time. They know that he's actually a changed person. Now, you can change. Anyone can change if they have the will to change. Some people can't change themselves. If you got an addiction, you cannot change. I have one son right now. All my kids were in Montessori private school, so I have wasted a lot of money on two of them, I know. And that's uh, Don Terry's, Don, uh, not Don Terry's, but Don Terry's mother and uh, my baby son, because my baby son is in rehab now. He was in Montessori. And, you know, like uh, Catholic school or whatever, they get drugs just like kids in poverty get drugs. So I try to help them with that situation. So he's in rehab now, and I'm done with him too. But the babies, I have to keep the babies in my concern until they become an adult. That's my promise to them. They can always depend on me. Okay. Um. There is a possibility that if Mr. McCoy gets the children, he will take them to this house. That's a five bedroom house. And your daughter, uh, Miss Erica Amens, would also live in the house with them. Um, she says she cooks, she cleans, that kind of thing, and would basically offer some stability um, to Mr. Amens McCoy. What are your thoughts about that? Would that make a difference to you well, if, she, if she was there as well? Uh, the main thing, you have to make sure no drugs is involved in the household, in the immediate family. But my question is why you, after the kids are what, 14, 15, 14 mm -hmm. and 10? I mean, you're just coming up now. Why did it take you so long to do this for your children? Mm -hmm. Unless you're retarded or something, is something something happened to you to make you just want to stand up today? But my question is, though, I, I understand that your thoughts are that it took a while for him to get here, but sometimes it takes people time to mature. His position is is that he needed that time to mature, um, and he's in his position is he's done so and he's ready. Um, if Miss Erica was also at the house um, with him, would that be a feasible place for the children? When Erica had Don Terrius, she was not a parent to Don Terrius. Don Terrius would call on me. He got in serious trouble, gonna make serious time. My daughter said, let him go to jail. I don't trust my daughter. Well, I think she, and her I position is her. that she's taking a heart. She's take a little a harder line for discipline 
Well, um, uh, no, she had she was whipping him with a water hose, and I took it from her. That is not normal. Okay. And I took it from him, and I and I bought Don Terry's clothes too, and made sure that he was not abused by a parent. She was more interested in her dates than she were Don Terry's. Whether Don Terry's one admitted or not, he knew that I had his back. And I have the baby's backs as well. I don't like to see any children being mistreated. They do not ask to be born. If you're not a competent parent, you're not a competent parent. I mean, we all have flaws. It's not perfect, but the father. But you have to at least protect the children. And if you got a problem, you need to go get help. Okay, is Gordy Ammons your biological son? Yeah, he's my grandson. He's your, hold on, let me make. Oh, you mean Gordy Ammons? Uh, uh, Gordy Ammons? Uh, the big guy you just talked about. The big about. guy. Yeah. He's my biological son, and he was in Montessori. Yes, that's my that's my firstborn. Okay, and then you have Miss Erica. That's then your I second. Got Erica, and then, and I, then I have... Uh, Jamal. Jamal is the baby. Yes. That's the one that's in currently you said that's rehab. The one in rehab. Okay. And also, and, and, and right, your position yeah. is that your position is that the um that Gordy also Gordia is it Gordia? Yeah. Gordia also helps with the children financially. Gordia helped with the kids financially. Raphael helped with the kids financially. I helped with the kids financially, and the parents. Well, Ashley's been sick since they had that incontinence over there. They were fighting, and uh, Don Terrace was on drugs at that time because they was going to lock him up for doing something illegal, and I posted his bond. And then he and Ashley broke up. So uh, Ashley went with her mother, so I don't know what Ashley finding in that situation. But when Don Terrace and Ashley was fighting at one point, I think he gave her two pills and Ashley has never been the same. I knew Ashley before she uh, had gotten into the position that she had gotten into with my grandson to my dismay. And I tried to help as much as I can to get them to get to, to be together. I would have bought them a house and they didn't have to pay anything to me as well. But he just was going off the wrong track. Oh, the they were living in a house that you were taking care of? I was taking care of, well, with Don Terrius, uh, I, 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 Don Terrius was in another house. I was in my own house. Oh, okay. Don Terrius was with his mother when he got in trouble, and his mother said, go to jail. I said, no, I didn't want to see anybody in jail. I posted his bond, and, uh, and then he went to boot camp, but I don't like the way he looks now. I, he it doesn't look like my grandson. So, I, I, is it because of the the long hair? Is that what you're no, talking he, about? He's he's too skinny. Oh, he's okay. also too skinny. I've always I mean, been uh, the same size. Okay, just same way. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I would have him tested very well, but you don't know what people are doing because when uh, defects or whatever tried to get the uh, child support started, he did not even open his mail. So defects could not reach him. So the, this child support never started since the kid's been born. Mm. So you got three children that you've had, and you don't have no record of uh, paying child support. I don't know how that slipped through the crack. Okay. Uh, probably because they didn't have proper attorneys. That's probably what it was. Mm. All right. Um, Miss Ashley, do you have any questions? For Ms. Smith. For, for Ms. Smith. Um, yes. Why do you think that Dunterry is, well, I guess she wasn't here to take account of that information. Why do you think that Dunterry is continuously pours out negative information about his eldest daughter or, and, and not the other two? Um, uh. Firstly, we got to make sure Don Terry is really competent. Uh, I would not be 
satisfied on answering that test unless I knew how long he's been off of drugs or if he's still on drugs. But Don Terrence is not the Don Terrence that was born. And my daughter was not the mother that she should have been. Now, um, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't answer that question. Only God knows okay. that answer. Okay. Um, do you feel that Aaliyah is the person that she is due to the fact of his normal 100K posting on YouTube videos as far as his lifestyle that he's promoting? Um, do you feel that Aaliyah is the person that she is due to the fact of his normal 100K posting on YouTube videos as far as his lifestyle that he's promoting? I'm sorry. Well, what? Uh, I'm sorry. Do, I, hold on. Don't answer that because I'm not mm -hmm. sure where we're going. What was the question? Do you feel that um, Aaliyah is the way that Push she back. is? Okay. <laughs> I wish to plead incompetence. Do you feel that Aaliyah is the way that she is as far as the videos that he's promoted on YouTube that has reached 107K views? Do you think that Aaliyah I is the way she is because of his lifestyle? I don't use t uh, TikTok or talk tip. Okay, so uh, you don't, you haven't uh, seen, no, I don't want I'm, you to guess. I'm, I'm a licensed real estate agent broker, insurance uh, uh, broker, and, and I'm not a drinker nor a smoker. Mm -hmm. So I cannot deal with that type of situation. My mother. Oh, okay, that's up fine. Over. If you don't have any information on it, you don't. All right. Okay. Um. You said that you feel that I need help, and I've just kind of taken tests and as far as marijuana and et cetera, et cetera, and seen a psychiatrist on a normal basis. They said if I feel as if, um. What do you think that I need help with? Well, you got to get back to old Asher, the and one that I knew that when I met you, you were that not was basically quiet and just kind of attentive. I'm to not an, I'm not a doctor, not a psychiatrist. You have mm -hmm. to go to them for that answer. I can't answer that question. Okay. I can only state what I know factually. But you, you have come a long ways. Mm -hmm. You have come a long ways. And it's up to a uh, professional to tell you how much longer. When I mean, I understand people being on drugs. I, I try to help people on drugs. I helped the homeless and the drug people for seven years. So I know those people have to be constantly evaluated to see how they're progressing. And, and then some person, some people can just tell God to heal them and they're healed. And some people never get healed. So that's something that I, I can't say. But I, I see an improvement with you, but uh, the only somebody I've had knowledge of in depth is Shanta Murphy and myself. Since when you all was over there and you were little and you called me for help. When your kids Younger. were over there, little called me for help. Okay. And, um, and, and the way I see my grandson, uh, being small and with those plats, I, I, he's not the grandson that I once knew. And 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 I, I helped I helped you, Don Terrence, not make twenty years in prison. I posted a fifty thousand dollar bond for you. So I, I just wish this all in. What, what was what was the charge that you posted for? Uh oh, I can't say that out loud, can I? The charge. I'm in the courtroom, right? Yes. The, what is what was the charge? He was pimping, pimping girls. Oh my God, Yana, I object. You he can pull up the charge girls. yourself. I gave somebody a ride and got in trouble. Ma'am, sir, what was the charge? Is what I'm asking. Is that you object because that's the wrong charge? If you were, if you didn't have a charge on terrorists, I wouldn't have had to post a bond. I'm not asking you if it was true. I'm asking you what was the charge. Is that correct? The charge was. Are you was, objecting to the oh. type of the charge, or are you objecting to the fact that it didn't happen? Which one is it? It didn't happen. Okay, I, we're not dealing with what it happened. I'm asking, what was the charge? Is that correct? You talking to yes. me now? Okay, nothing. I just want to make sure I understood oh. his objection. I didn't know if he was objecting. I'm objecting. Is he objecting to the information coming in, or if he objecting to the type of a charge it was? But 
So there was a there was a bond that you posted, and that was the charge. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And it was a signature bond, Yana. It wasn't no cash involved. It was involved. a James okay. bond. If it was a signature bond, she wouldn't have posted it because a signature bond would require just your signature. She wouldn't be necessary. Yeah. It so if your position, so no if your position out. is, you can you'll have an opportunity to ask her any questions. If your position is, she never posted anything for you. You can challenge that. But yeah. I mean, yeah. so I we'll we'll deal with that. If your position is that that didn't that she didn't do that. That'll be up that you can, you'll question her on that. All right, anything else? All right, you have an opportunity now to examine her. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you have, it's your opportunity now. So now you can ask her about those things that you just objected to. Okay, yeah, I mean, when did that happen? I don't know the year, you have to check the records. Was I 17 years old when that happened? You were on the age and your mother wouldn't do it for you. So you called me. I went down and I posted a bond for you. And they said the charge was pimping girls. So if you check the record. Have I been in, okay, that's it. I just, have I been in any, any trouble since then? Uh, you have not been a father. <laughs> okay. Why do you talk down on your on your own I'm people? Not I'm, I'm just down. asking the question. I'm telling the truth. Okay. You don't matter to me. The children matter to me. The children didn't ask to be born. You both were too young to have children in the first place. So we came in trying to help you guys to live as normal as possible. You know, job. What's your job history, Grandma? You know what I do. We we talk. Look, Grandma. You just told ask me. Ask her. Okay, ask listen. her to say. Ask her, Grandma, <laughs> ask her, what is your job? Because I would like to know what it is. What have you saw me doing? Dontarius, you have never gotten a stable job. Oh, my Lord. I, it's, it's okay. Okay. Well, uh, Your Honor. Y Your Honor, I have a CDL license. I drove 18-wheeler trucks. That I helped him get. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And still have so license. if she doesn't know, she doesn't know. Do you know? She just said she doesn't know. What's your next question? But she, oh, okay, so I got in trouble at 17 for pimping girls, and then I went to boot camp? Yeah, they put you in boot camp. Oh, that, wow. That, that was, boot I, camp was better than jail, and your Yana, mother wouldn't even respond. Okay, so I didn't, that, wasn't, that wasn't Fort Gordon Youth Challenge that I went to at the age of 15 years old? You have to check those records, because I have to remember <laughs> a lot of things as being a loan officer and a real estate broker. It's a lot of stuff that I do. I don't have time for junk. It's no okay. reason for kids to get on drugs, period, in okay. my opinion. Correct. And you raised your own kids. Gordia yes. Amis and yes. Erica Amis, you raised them. No, from... I, I, I raised them as long as they were old. But I wasn't on. I, I raised them financially, okay? Because their father was unemployed, and he said he never had money. I bought the houses. I bought the cars. So he was just a piece of paper. So okay. is it is it maybe true that this is some personal stuff going on with you and what you got going on in your life while you coming at me like this? No, I, I, I'm very competent. Okay. Okay. Another question. What positive, tell me something positive about my grandfather. In the courtroom today. Why, why do we care about He's, something why would positive I about, your, about him? The man what's that I what's had the to point of? of that? The point is the way that sh sh since I was a child until now, I'm sorry, since I was you a child. You have her on cross. She obviously said something you think isn't true. Okay. So, Can, no, hold on for a second so you'll understand. She said something that you don't think is true. Right? Ask her. What, if your position is, for example, she said you didn't pay child support. What did I say? If you don't think it's true, then you say, challenge her. Isn't it true that I did this? That's how you defeat it. If your position is there's something she said not true, ask her so that you can you can clarify it. Instead of saying generally she's just lying. Just ask her the direct question I so I'll lie. know what you're challenging. Okay. A lie is the, the same as a murderer. Ma'am, ma'am, wait for him. Wait for him to answer you. The, ask the question. What is it that you're concerned about that she did not tell the truth about? 
you can ask her now, then I'll know that's your issue. What did she say that wasn't true? And then you can question her about it through your cross of her. You asking me what did she say that wasn't true? I'm, I'm asking you to make note of it. In your head, what did she say that wasn't true? Now you can ask her the, the, the truth of it so you can get to the truth of what she said. What was it that she said that wasn't true that you think it's a conspiracy or that it's a reflection of something else? Ask her about those things. Okay, if I wasn't competent or any of that, do you think that your children, three of your children, would allow me to take care of their father? Uh, Dontarius. It's just a yes or no question, ma'am. No, that question is not, is not explainable. Repeat well, that question. The question it's a yes is, or no the question. question. It is a, the question is, I couldn't, I couldn't ma'am, ma'am, the question is, if you believe that he is not competent to take care of people, why would the children, Mr. Ammons, Mr. Gordia Ammons, and Ms. Erica Ammons, allow him to take care of their father who was ill? Why would they do that if he's not competent? That's the question. They, because he was the only one that was available and we call ourselves helping him to become stable, to, to do something. And it was money involved. So my other sons paid him to do that. Because Don Terrence have no history of a, a real job. And when, when my ex-husband died, uh, they wanted him to try to train him to, to run the scrap metal dealership. He ran a scrap metal dealership, but he did not. Uh, I was the one that bought everything and paid. Okay, the scrap metal dealership, you're saying your, your ex-husband ex held that business? Yeah, my, my uncle had the scrap metal uh, business. And then when I m married their father, uh, and he came here from Chicago. We came from Chicago. So I asked my uncle to give uh, my husband a job. So he gave him the scrap metal job and he worked scrap metal. But he, you know, he didn't, he didn't do any taking care of my children, but I was competent enough to take care of my children. And I was, okay, I think we're going off the, you see the where I'm rail, going? but what I'm trying to, uh, Okay, I think we yes. kind of lost yeah, the idea. The idea is that your position is he was paid to do it. Yeah, he was paid to do that. Okay. You can talk to Rafael LaGuardia. All right. They paid what's the next, to, what's to the next question? And so you raised your kids, we'll say from... 13 to 20. What, what's what's the here. point of her raising her children or not? Get to what matters here. Yeah, all this is some trying to redo her parenting thing. and Just ask her what okay. it is that she lied about. What is, what's the concern? What is she doing? What is she, is what's it, the, what is is it, the issue that she did not, what well, she was not truthful about? Just ask her that question. Is it true that you and, you and my mom, Erica Ammons, just talked on the phone on a three-way call last week and I was letting you know the things that was going on with Aaliyah and you stated, I'm going to pray that she that you can get custody of your child. No, I didn't say that. Oh, my Lord. I have never made that statement, Don Terry, because the way you look today is not the grandson I used to have. I mean, I, I would, I would, you don't look like the grandson I used to have. And uh, I don't even know where you, you're still doing scrap metal with, with your grandfather, right? But I'm yeah, still spending yeah, money on your children. Yeah. I mean, I'm a grandmother. I'm a great grandmother. Any money? To that, the children. Okay. And I have spent my check every month. Your father, your, your uh, Gordia didn't have a job by him not having a job. He didn't get Social Security. So by me being married to him 10 years, they gave him Social Security off of my Social Security. So Gordia Ammons. Yeah. Who is Gordia Ammons? That's, that's, that's my grandfather. Okay. Oh. He he Gordia Ammons never worked a real job. He was working for my my mother's brother, and they caught him stealing, and he fired him. 
Okay. Yeah. I think that's a, a little bit too much background information than the court yeah. needs. Okay. All right. So, understand okay. So the strap metal business still exists. No, ma'am. I thought no, you said that's what you did for a living. living. That's I, what I do for a living. And I got, I, I got what I do from my grandfather. My grandfather was the first black man in Georgia to own his own scrap yard. That, listen, the, my question was, I thought you said that's what you did for a living when we first started this hearing. That's what I do now for you're a living, me, but I don't, I don't work for my grandfather. I didn't ask you if you work for him. He's dead. Correct. And you was asking, do I work for his business in particular? No, I said, do about? you still do the strap metal business? Yes, ma'am. I thought you were saying my granddad particular where his building is business. No, that's closed and for sale right now. Okay. I learned the scrap metal from my grandfather, being raised by my grandfather. Okay. All right. Any additional questions? Why do you talk to children badly in a bad manner about adults? About what? About adults. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, you'll tell my kids, I'm not nothing. Your dad ain't nothing. I've never said that about anybody. Okay. Have you ever told me, is it true or not, that everything that my grandfather got and worked for and he stole everything yeah, I, that he had? That's not, I've already indicated. I'm not interested. <laughs> well, they, Listen, they, they, one they, of the, I mean, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm sorry. No, ma'am. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested whatsoever in she said, she what said, occurred. I cannot, listen. I can barely solve the problem dealing with the generation I have. There's no way I'm going to be solving three levels of generation. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Cordia Amian said it best. There's a lot of dysfunction running here and I can't, I'm not even going to try to unravel those levels. Okay. Go to the question dealing with these three children at the top. That's where we need to be. Okay. okay. <clears throat> How many times have you left Gordia Ammon's house during the six, seven years you were staying with him? Now, when you say Gordia Ammons, you need to be clear uh, now, because now I'm confused. Junior. There are two of them. Yeah, Junior. My grandfather junior. is. Yes. Your grandfather's a junior? He's a senior. Okay, so Junior is the one who testified. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, ask the question again. How many times have you ran out of or left Gordia Ammons Junior house when you was residing with him for six years, whether morning time or night time? to go save and rescue the kids? Uh, I, I don't remember ever going out of, uh, uh, you talking about Gordia Ammons Sr.? Your son, Junior. My son. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't remember a specific, it was not, not a large amount of times so before it's rescuing the kids. Uh, I don't remember uh, Miss uh, Shanta having difficulty for me to rescue the kids. Okay. Normally, what I go over there for every year is make sure that they got uh, food, and then to make sure that they got school clothes and things of that nature. Okay, is it true that you just stated to me in the hallway that Shanta has to get out the place that she's living in because her and Tajara don't get along? I don't know nothing about Shanta with her other children. Keeping up with you was sufficient. So, so basically what you're saying, the statement I just made, I'm making it up. That statement did not occur with me between me and you today in the hallway. I don't know how many times, uh, as far as the children, when, when I go see my, those little great grandchildren of mine, I mainly uh, call them every day, and I'd be concerned, me and uh, Raphael and Pookie be concerned uh, about- who, who is Pookie? It's Gordia Pookie. Ammons, Gordia Ammons, I'm sorry. Pookie. Okay, okay, go. Right. We'd name. be concerned about their well-being, Don Terrence, because Ashley was sick behind you and her altercation, so she got sick behind the two pills you gave her, Oh, and Lord. she has never gotten well. So is it pills or is it a mental health thing? I'm not a I'm drug person, so I don't know. Okay, and did you see her take these pills or are you just speculating that that's what it was? 
Well, I saw you put you. I, it's a, just I'm just asking. I saw you light a piece of paper, put it in front of her face. So oh, I don't know Lord. what you will or won't do. So you, so basically, you just. I'm not basically nothing. I'm telling the truth here. Did I not post the bond for you not to make time for pimping a girl? Oh, not good. No, you did not. You a lie. Because I was it's never pimping. All right, let's not go back and forth. It's on the record. I should have let you okay, I, time. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I love you, but you need to be honest so, with yourself. No, you have to, Grandma. You got a drug I'm, I'm, problem, I'm, I'm learning. To I'm help. learning. I'm learning from my elders. Don Terry, anybody you can. Need, you got the same grandson. You need to oh check yourself. God. And see if anything wrong with you. You sure you're not using anything? I'm positive, but are yeah, you is. okay? Listen, all right, are you all right? Let's go to something else. Oh my, Yana. Yeah, I can't. I can't. But so your own kid that you raised, who's a adult now, in almost fifty years old. He would come and get on the stand and testify otherwise in regards to me. And he's been active in my life. He saw me. He saw me multiple times last year, this year. He would come and he speak up. He a great improvement in you. That's what he said. So he would speak up for me mm -hmm. for the about the kids that he sent money to and loved so much. Well, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, is, is Pookie going to stand up for what's right or what's wrong? Well, see, Pookie probably didn't fully understand. But see, Pookie, uh, I don't talk to Pookie about you not paying child support. So he don't even know you not paying child support. But see, me and Raphael and Gordia himself, because he has helped bought food over there too. We are doing your job. Gordia is the, the, the Gordia you're talking Gordia, about now. Yeah, is yeah the, the Gordia I had. We, we are taking care of your children, Dante. You realize we've been doing that forever? How many times have you called me and asked me, Hey, Dantarius, do you have $20 for the kids? Do you have $30 for the kids? How many Dantarius, times? Dantarius, I haven't called you for a penny. Why? Because you don't pay for your child support. You don't have nothing. Well, why would you call? All right, next question. Okay, why would you call Gordia for money for my kid and without calling me first? Because you never gave me any money for your children. You just said it. You do it. Okay. tired of taking care of your children. Tired. And Tired. I know. That's why I'm trying Tired. to help the situation here. No, because you having a situation here, you're not being true to yourself. You know that you have never taken care of your children, so hmm. you need to admit it now. I would never. I, I wouldn't admit it. Only if this was the truth. All right. Can you go to something else, please? You need to show reference. Okay. I'm your grandmother. I'm not going to lie on you. If I knew that you was going to end up the way you are now, I would have let you sit there them 20 years for that uh, pimp. Wow. Then, then you right. would have came I, out with some I think, sense. Let's listen. All right. Tension is flaring. Let's just back up for a moment, okay? You guys are, that's your grandmother. Y'all have a lot of history going on. I don't it's want, not, I don't want, either. I don't want your desire to get your children interfere with your relationship with your grandmother. So she has a position. It doesn't, it doesn't make it right or wrong. It's just a position, okay? So just yeah. calm, it's just calm down. And because the most important thing, of course, is the children. And you guys got a lot going on. We can't solve it all here in the court. It won't make a difference. It's not going to be solved here, okay? All right, you have any additional questions for her? So, that, that's, that's pressing and that you need to get out because... Trying to convince her one way or the other is this is not the forum not, for right. it. Okay, it's not the forum. Anything how, else? Uh, yes. How how many times have you spoken about in a negative light about Shanta? About who? Never. About Miss Shanta Murphy. Never. No further questions. All right. Thank you. you uh, Miss Lord, do you happen to have anything? I think you've already had a lot of conversations with her already. All right. Thank you. You may step down, ma'am. I can step down. You can step down and you're free to go get home before praise you're concerned God, about praise dark. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Thank you. 
Yes, you can leave. Time, mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and get your, your things. Mm -hmm. It's okay. She she's she's good. She's good. Let's let's keep moving for right now so we can keep time. That's right. You can leave the building, ma'am. Is Liz locked up? Is Liz locked up?